All right, so I have um, some pins here that I have pinned from on Pinterest. I created an um, inspiration board here. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while and use some of the pins that I um, pin on Pinterest because they just otherwise they just sit there. So um, I will post a link in the description of or in the a link in the description of my um, Pinterest boards so you can take a look at other ones I have. So I plan to incorporate just different things from these pictures here, the layerings, the doilies, the um, dots, the heart, and the little um, pom pom um, trim there. So I'm going to show you, get started on the layout and, and this will be a 12 by 12 layout. So here are all the materials that I plan to use and I'm going to use this um, gray and cream stripe paper from L Studio I believe that I came in the Studio Calico kit. And so this kind of also paint, it was a basic background that I wanted to paint this um, yellow heart on. And that yellow um, heart paper, it's the Yucky Charms, and it was in the Studio Calico kit too. And so that's why I'm kind of basing this from the, when I had my inspiration board there, and uh, the, I saw that paper in the Studio Calico kit, I knew that that's what I wanted to do, was make a paper with a heart on it, with hearts themed. So I just trimmed a, paper heart out to trace that I'm going to trace onto this background and then I'm going to pull out my watercolors and some glimmer mist to use to paint on the heart. So here I'm just testing out two different types of glimmer mist I have. It was a, I think it's a yellow sunshine and my gold. And I'm just kind of checking the glimmer more or less for that since the watercolors will overpower the coloring that's in the glimmer mist. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just testing them out like I said. And I think I'm going to stick with the gold. And there I was looking at to see about the colors too from that yellow and that tan color. And you'll see how I'll blend them in later on in the layout. So here I'm going to start painting. And with the watercolor, the, using, I'm using the gold glimmer mist with um, some yellow watercolor paint. So I'm just going to fill it all in and I'm using a watercolor brush too just for better control and stuff and fluid it so I'm so gonna fill it in and I noticed after when I was trying to erase the lines later on that it didn't come I painted over some of the lines so they didn't completely erase. But I don't mind actually I kinda like how it turned out because it had those gray just every now and then there's like a little gray line there for the heart. So now I'm adding that the tan color to kind of blend it in to give it just not make it all one color and also is trying to kind of more match it to that yellow heart paper there on the side because it was just yellow was a little too much powerful for that other yellow paper so here I'm going to spritz these um, pink paisley hearts with some silver glimmer mist and so then I'm going to just clean them off and clean up my mess area and just put them over to the side to dry. And I don't know if you've seen these before, but they um, have like a resistance on them so you can spritz and then they'll be white with um, the spritz designed of whatever color you want. So now I'm going to come back and I'm just going to finish drying off my yellow heart, big yellow heart on there. And making sure I'm getting back sides to kind of help with the warping from the watercolor painting. So I'm just making sure it's dry before I start putting additional stuff on. So now I'm going to start erasing the lines. And like I said, the, not a lot of lines erased because it was they were painted over. But in the end, I actually didn't mind. I got over it thinking that I would get all not get all really little lines. It doesn't it really doesn't show up that much and it actually has it gives it a cool little texture to it. So now I'm gonna just pull out the papers here that I'm gonna use and I just used a whole bunch of my scraps that I have piled in a little, an old studio color code box where I throw all my scraps at and just kinda of go through them to find what colors I want. And actually this is a six by six I pulled out of one of my pads and I don't remember what pad it was. 
So I'm just going to border punch it with this um, paper binder tab um, notebook punch. And that's going to be my base, basic layer. And some of these scraps are actually from the Studio Calico. I think it's the Calico collection or something like that. So I'm also going to um, make the edges a little rough. I'm going to come back and I'm going to um, distress them with my Tim Holtz distressor. And I'm going to skip through distressing all of that so you don't have to watch me do all that with all the layers. So, and then I also am going to be cutting them haphazardly to just to not make it all even. So here I am going to cut the yellow because I'm going to use that as the top and bottom border on the paper. So of course I'm going to stress those edges too. And I tried, I wanted to everything to be distressed. I wanted the, the layers that you see and have dimension on this layout. Because that's what in my um, pin, in intro, Pinterest, or no, inspiration board, sorry, that it, um, a lot of the layouts that I had picked out were having all these layers that had lots of dimension, dimension on them. So I'm just going to be layering down stuff um, here, but now I'm going to change my mind, and I wanted it at the top because it, I didn't want that heavier, thicker paper at the top because I felt like it would be heavier um, on the top. And so I'm going to switch that smaller one strip to the top so it's not as weighted on the top. And then I'll put this larger strip down on the bottom and do the exact thing with the different layerings of those two and just in the opposite corner. So like I said, this all came from an inspiration board and then one of the inspiration boards I have a layering like this in there that I had liked. And so when I when I pin on my Pinterest boards, I try to write on there what I like about the layout. So I know what I'm looking at when I go back and look at it later on. So now here I'm just layering all my picture, my layers to see how I want it. And I wanted to add my, some of these doilies. So I cut it in half and then I'm going to trim off a little bit more so I can stick stick that underneath that top layer. That top little strip there at the top of the paper. So now I'm going to start gluing down the layers. And I ruffled up the papers a little bit so they had some texture again. And flipped up the edges a little bit too to have texture on the layers. And I'm going to be messing with it a little bit just to get the placement when I decide to put when I was going to put my title in. Um, it, I had to move things around, so you're going to be seeing me do that. So now I'm going to pull out that gray or not gray. I'm that silver glimmer mist and add some little spotters on here. And I'm going to kind of go the diagonal from that top cluster to that bottom cluster and then I'm going to add a little bit of stuff. So where I'm kind of putting where the, the spritz is where I'm going to try to have my embellishments pre-planned. And then I'm also going to add this gold glimmer mist that I had used in when I was watercoloring that heart on the background. So now I am going to glue down my photo which is where now I'm going to pull out um, this yellow little pom-pom trim that I had in my stash. I bought this a long time ago and I kind of have forgotten about it. And then I saw that pin, that picture on my board and I was like, oh yeah, I have some. I remembered I had bought some of that stuff. So I'm trying to use up, you know, these scraps that have been, the items that have been sitting in my stash for a long time that you kind of forget about because they get pushed to the back of your items. And here is some gold sparkly ribbon that I have also in my st stash, but I had used this recently into a layout, so I think that's why I saw it, because it was sitting on top of stuff. So, I'm just kind of layering that behind the picture there. And now I am going to add some of that down the bottom. Sorry, it's out of frame. It's down there behind the layer. There. So now I'm kind of moving around because I thought about where I remembered I wanted to have my title and how I wanted to do that title. I'm going to do that love um, title on here. This is a picture of my mom and I when we were in Vegas. And I just love this picture of us too. I think we look so good. It was when, during a time when she was battling breast cancer, which unfortunately she lost her battle to. But so um, I had already done a layout about that trip to Vegas, so I wanted to do this one about love, my love for her. So there's the 
the palette, and I can't remember where that's from, but the palette's an art design somewhere. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put that title. And I put and I use the thickers on um, wax paper again just to shift it. And I'm kind of having to fuss with the trim down there just the way to make sure things get. So I'm gonna kind of put them right here, but then I'm gonna later later on come over and just overlap the picture with the thickers because they just kind of looked off to me for a while. I think I didn't like how that oh, it was hanging off the thing. It just I don't know, it looked a little off to me, so I'm gonna move them over a little bit later. So now I'm going to come and put these hearts on here in my embellishments and where I try to figure out where I want to place them. And so I'm just going to fuss with them and just find their placements. And so this is pretty much how they're going to go. And now I'm going to start gluing them or pulling off the backing and gluing letting them glue down. Now these hearts are also the ones that I've used before in layouts, but I use the back side as the sticky side the, to use my glitter my glittering. And so now I'm just pulling them off. I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to use my three-dimensional tape to pop them off a little bit since some of them are already popping off from all of, from the layers and stuff. So, and I was, I don't know, I was loving how this layout was coming out with the thing. I, I, I've never tried this inspiration boards before, and I'm actually really liking it. I have just finished another video that hopefully I'll have up soon. So now I saw this one with you um, stamping with your pencil erasers, and I think I remember doing this back when I was in school or something. So I wanted to add this to my layout just to give a little more little spotters with my different inks. So I'm just haphazardly kind of just going around stamping the different colors with my pencil erasers on this layout. And I'm just using different colors. I think I use peel paint, um, shabby shutter, old paper, and pumice stone. I believe those are the colors, kind of the colors I had throughout the layout. So now um, I took this off to go get stitch it on there and I kind of just stitched random things. I just stripped the trim down and I did the other stitching, so I'm kind of sorry, kind of, but I kind of see it there. And I always put washi tape on the back just to hold down the stitching so they don't kind of come out. I'm just ruffling the edges again. And then I, so I let it sit out overnight. Um, and then the next day I, I saw a video or somebody's blog about the stickles and I remembered I had some and I was like oh let me use those and I wondered how they would look on the lettering and so I tried it, tested it all on the ampersand and I really liked it and so I decided to add it to my title here and so that will be the last thing I do so thanks for watching and have a great day